Davy Rendon had redefined the genre of walking simulators with his first Steam release, The Stanley Parable. I feel like The Stanley Parable was one of the indie scene's amazing treasures and should be enjoyed by anyone who loves strong and even original storytelling that's cleverly hilarious. I didn't expect the beginner's guide to live up to Davy's last game, and needless to say, it didn't come close. In the beginner's guide, you were just a player being guided through a collection of narrative-driven demos, with Davy Rendon himself walking you through the unfinished work of one of his friend's imagination in the order of when he stopped working on these projects. The whole game is centered on exploring the mystery behind Coda's disappearance and who Coda was as a creative and a person. It's really hard to assess a short narrative-driven experience without spoiling a minute of the hour and a half ride. Everything past the first five to ten minutes is considered a major spoiler narrative-wise. With the Stanley Parable, you're able to choose your own path and tell a different short narrative, but that's not the case with the Beginner's Guide. As far as the storytelling experience goes, the Beginner's Guide provides an excellent journey through one struggling mind, even if the conclusion feels forced. What's more forced than in the last segment of the story is the gameplay. This is a walking simulator, yes, and it surpasses most of the walking sims out there due to its superior pacing and storytelling. It's only a shame that the games you're walking through aren't terribly interesting. Assuming that these games are made by Coda, they aren't very exciting visually or mechanically, and that's coming from a guy who loves the Source engine, despite how much it's aged. All these games that you're being presented with mostly hold a message explaining Coda's desires, struggles, and persona. However, none of these messages convey into the game gameplay, for you are instead traversing through a series of bad demos while listening to a far more intriguing part of the game. They don't really add on or complement the story, they're just ideas that have already been made into good story-driven games several times before, such as branching pathways or leaving messages behind for other players. The difference is, these ideas are much less elaborated here than they are for several available narrative or player-driven narrative games on your preferred digital storefront. What really sells this game is Davy's fascinating commentary about his history with Coda and the who, what, when when, where, and why in his profession of game development. There's nothing in the games themselves that make you feel like you desperately want to play if they were finished, and there's little resemblance of you exploring the uncanny valley of game development, but rather a series of dated Source Engine demos, sometimes with bugs, a hidden message, and Davy Rendon's brilliant dialogue, staging the demo and making you wonder what percent of the collection was constructed by Coda. At the end of the hour and a half adventure, I came up being told a strong true story with a confusing ending, cleverless use of the Source Engine, and forced repetitive level design. You can still find the game enjoyable thanks to the soothing music and excellent, although staged dialogue. But you aren't going to remember your experience for nearly as long as the Stanley Parable, and once you beat the game, you will have no desire to play it again.